right, you ready? I'll switch it back on. That's running off a of 110, and yeah, it gets a little <laughs> bit worse. It chops the tips uh, off. So it's definitely a sine wave inverter. Okay, we got a 48 volt uh, uh, UPS here, a, a backup power supply for computers and things like that. And are we running on wall or? Right now you're running on wall. So this is what the wall power here looks like on an oscilloscope. Now let's switch over to the power from the, uh, the inverter of the UPS. And that's inverter power right there. It's actually a little cleaner, if anything. Wow. So for if I want to run a battery charger off of this, for example, I've got a true sine wave, and that should work fine for powering any kind of electronics, battery everything. chargers, yep. anything I want. Okay. And we've been testing this with uh, four little batteries for a 48-volt power system. Um, a kilowatt, see how many amps it draws. And well, I was pulling about 40 watts for charging those batteries, right? But those batteries, those are pretty well charged, so I would imagine it would pull watts is your light bulb. more power. No, the light bulb is 100 watts. I think we were drawing, when it was off, we were seeing 40 watts. I'm not sure it was charging. When it was on, we were seeing about 200 watts. Okay. So I'm guessing that was power the circuitry and charge the battery. So I'm guessing 100 to 150 watts to charge the batteries. Okay. And we were uh, using a 100-watt light bulb over there just as kind of right. a, a test load on the UPS here. Our current drops to about 2 amps instead of 3. So it looks like now I basically have a pretty nice 48-volt uh, power inverter to use so with a uh, home solar power system then, huh? Should and work. Could use this to, uh, how about putting some Anderson quick disconnects and uh, routing this thing straight to a city car? Pull the battery power wherever you can find 48 volts. It should run fine. Woohoo! No, it's not going to run a whole lot.